I'm Ryan Kristen with the Ocean City Wright Fire Control District here in Okaloosa County. In this video, I'll be presenting a brief training program to the men and women of the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. This video is part of a joint training endeavor between our organization and yours. Many of you have attended events in the past that we've hosted, including an event teaching techniques to breach hurricane rated doors and windows and structures. And of course, the three day active shooter exercise at the former courthouse annex. Our hope is that through this joint training program, we can improve our safety and teamwork on the streets. In this training program, we're going to focus on techniques for breaking automobile glass. Now, I know that sounds very simple, but we're gonna show you some tools and techniques that can help save critical seconds when it matters the most. In addition to providing this training video, the Ocean City Ride Fire Department is donating rescue center punches with built-in seat belt cutters to every patrol officer in Okaloosa County. What brought this training about was an incident in December of 2014 when two Okaloosa County deputies rescued a man from a burning car. These officers received medals of merit and life-saving awards. They did a great job and the medals they received were well deserved. But what if the man in the car had been unconscious and wearing a seatbelt? Or if the fire had progressed just a little faster? In this situation and many others, every second counts. Before we get into the equipment or how to use it, we'll take a quick look at automotive glass. Modern car windows are made of tempered glass and laminated glass. This is different from the type of glass you may find in the windows of your home. The glass is made this way for two reasons. One, to add strength and keep your windows from breaking during rough driving conditions. And number two, to protect the occupants from flying shards of glass in an accident. Standard glass, when hit with relatively little force, will break into large shards. Tempered glass, however, shatters into thousands of small dull pieces. This type of glass is made from a rapid cooling process that causes the glass to contract and gives it compression strength. This also makes it as much as 10 times stronger than standard glass, and it's why our windows can withstand the slamming force of car doors, potholes, and even traffic accidents. It is also why car windows are much harder to break than other windows. This type of tempered glass is found on the side windows and rear window of vehicles. The windshield, however, has added strength. It is two layers of glass with a clear polyvinyl sheet in the middle. This added sheet of PVB allows windshields to absorb tremendous force in an accident and provides incredible protection from flying debris. This added strength keeps passengers inside the vehicle in major accidents. This design also makes it considerably harder to break if you need to get through the windshield. For the most part, we will focus on breaking side and rear windows, although we will also take a quick look at getting through windshields, just so you know what you're up against. Breaking side and rear windows on tempered glass can be done easily when force is applied to a very small area with a center punch. Using a larger object such as a flashlight causes the force to disperse over a bigger area and makes it more difficult to break the glass. This is why the deputies involved in the 2014 rescue had to strike several times at the glass. The force being applied to the window was dispersed and thus it required much greater force to break the window. The devices being donated to you are spring-loaded center punches with a built-in seatbelt cutter. This device takes a small steel rod with a fine point and uses a spring to apply high pressure to a precise area. With a small amount of force, these devices will shatter a car window instantly. There are three parts to the device, a center punch, a seatbelt cutter, and a blade guard. With one hand, you can use this device to shatter a window 
and then reach in and safely cut the seat belt within seconds. We're at Wright Auto Salvage in Fort Walton Beach off of Carmel Drive and we'd like to thank Wright Auto Salvage for providing us this opportunity and giving us a vehicle so that we can set up some demonstrations today and show you how this tool works. Now we're going to go over some practical demonstrations on how to use the device. We're not going to cover when you need to break a window. That's beyond the scope of this video and it's up to your agency's individual protocols. However, we will do some practical demonstrations and teach you exactly how this works. First, we're going to show you how quick and simple this tool is to use, but I would like to point out some of the safety benefits of this device. First, it reduces the likelihood of accidentally striking an individual in the vehicle when you have to break a window with a blunt object like this. Second, this device produces less flying glass particles and glass debris inside the vehicle. In addition, it has a built-in seat belt cutter, which reduces the likelihood of accidentally cutting someone when you're trying to use a knife to get through the seat belt. And of course, it provides all of these safety benefits in a single tool that can fit in your pocket and you can use with one hand. With me today to help demonstrate how this device works is firefighter Matt Went, also with the Ocean City Wright Fire Control District. Matt, why don't you go ahead and show us how this works. Thank you, I'll be happy to demonstrate. For this demonstration today, I will be wearing personal protective equipment. We recommend that you follow your agency's safety protocols, but ultimately this device can be used with very minimal risk. To use the rescue window punch, simply place the device firmly against the window and press until you hear a click and the window breaks. As we mentioned earlier, tempered glass, when it breaks, breaks into thousands of small, dull pieces. Now, it can still cause minor cuts or abrasions. You can get small pieces of glass in your hand, but it's not as harmful as shards of standard glass. Now, you should consider wearing eye protection when you're breaking a window. Of course, if eye protection is not available, you can simply turn away as you break the glass. But like we said, these pieces are not nearly as bad as shards of glass. In this next demonstration, we're going to show you how to use the seat belt cutter on this device. Simply remove the blade guard, place the belt inside the device, and pull the blade across the belt. In most cases, the loose ends of the seat belt will retract, but remember, in some situations, you may have to cut both the shoulder belt and the lap belt. Now we'll take a look at a scenario similar to what happened in Destin. You've come upon a vehicle that's on fire. A person is inside and unconscious and the door is locked. You only have a few critical seconds to break the window, cut the seatbelt, and get the victim out. We're going to go to Matt and let him show us how quickly this can be accomplished. Okay, I've reached a vehicle that is on fire and I only have seconds to rescue the victim. I will take my rescue tool, press firmly against the window until the window breaks. Once it breaks, I'll reach in, unlock the door, and gain entry. Once I gain entry, I will cut the seat belt. Now remember, you may have to cut the shoulder belt and the lap belt. Once these are cut, you will remove the victim from the vehicle. Now I'll demonstrate how quickly this can be done. Now we'll take a look at a scenario that offers a little bit more time, but may still be an emergency. A child has accidentally been locked in a vehicle in the middle of July. The temperatures are high, the child is sweating profusely and appears very lethargic. You have parents standing there begging you to break the window and get the child out. When it is obvious that a child is in distress and needs to be rescued safely, quickly, and efficiently, this device will help minimize the amount of flying glass through the vehicle. In this case, you want to choose a window that is opposite the child, minimizing the risk of the child being exposed to glass.
As previously mentioned in this video, the rear window is also made of tempered glass. Now, it's a lot harder to gain access to occupants inside the vehicle through the rear window, but if you have to, it can still be broken with the same simple technique. Again, press the tool firmly against the window until you hear it click and the window breaks. Once the window breaks, clear the remaining glass from the window and gain access. As previously mentioned in this video, the front windshield is made of laminated glass and will not allow you access by using the center punch. You'll need to consider an alternative access point. Using the center punch on the windshield is almost entirely useless. For us, we carry special tools on our trucks to help us get through windshields. Tools like a Sawzall or a Glassmaster. We can even use a simple axe. If the windshield's your only option, you might be tempted to try to use a blunt object like a flashlight or something like that, but you'll quickly find it's a lot harder than you think. Uh, as you can see, this flashlight's pretty much useless. Well, sometimes your tools get stuck which makes this hammer even less effective. Now, what we do carry is an ax. Let's see how this works. Now, as you can see, without specialized equipment, gaining access through the windshield is nearly impossible. As you have seen today, this simple, inexpensive tool provides quick access that shaves time off of rescues and provides quick access to the passenger compartment. That's right, and we also want to remind you one last time to talk to your training officers and review your agency protocols to learn when it's appropriate and legal for you to force entry into a vehicle. If you've got any other questions, please feel free to ask our firefighters on the streets or stop by any one of our stations. We'd be happy to help you out. Remember, we're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We invite you to come by our stations and visit with us anytime. Stop in and grab a cup of coffee, and we'll be happy to go over our trucks, our equipment, and answer any questions that you might have about how we do our job. We hope that this opportunity can help build a relationship between Ocean City Wright and the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, a relationship founded on joint training opportunities that improves our operations on the street.